Uh, this is card 36, and this is the France Goes First, uh, maybe Series 1, um, maybe just part of the Allied plan or part of the um, handicapping, uh, could be part of the bidding process. This is France Goes First. Uh, we all think, a lot of people agree, uh, G40 is in general uh, imbalanced on part of the um, axis. If we look, for instance, in the resources here, if we were to just throw that wide open, uh, we can see that uh, the total number of the uh, the allied income is 177, the axis is 66 at the beginning of the game. Uh, we could also see that um, as far as resources goes, they have this thing called total unit value, which is right here, TUV. The British start out, uh, the Germans start out with 528, Russians, and then the Japanese at 667. <laughs> Boom! So, by the way, uh, that means that uh, of the 487 that the Americans get, they are more than two, four, almost two almost 200 behind 180 behind so at 52 if they spent all their stuff in the pacific they would still not equal the total unit values of the japanese so that, you know that just just that tells you something um so then you go down here and the allies are at 20 um 72 i think it is my eyes are not great uh, and the axis are at 1499. And that's not including, of course, turn one, where there's a slaughter of uh, units. I would, you know, could take you to places in my other games where obviously first at the first turn, which is the only scripted turn, is the axis turn, Japanese Japan, uh, that you can really script uh, to a great degree. And, uh, also, you would have a huge swing uh, in TUV, even more in favor of the, um, not, well, right now it's, in, excuse me, in favor of the Allies, but uh, it'd be quite a swing. And then add the national object, uh, nation, <laughs> the, the objectives um, that are out there, and, uh, and all of a sudden you would have, you know, evening up. It wouldn't even up quickly, but then the other hand, um, this expanse of water has to be um, gone across. Now, if there were no transports in the game, like in War Room, uh, the gap would not be as great. On the other hand, if there were not as much, if there were no transports needed, the Germans would obviously have quite an opportunity to uh, take over, uh, as they already do. Um, they would have quite an opportunity to uh, attack the United Kingdom. Although, as I've said online, it's a lot easier if the front line is London, uh, in my opinion, uh, than it is if the front line uh, to to help and liberate London um, than it is to liberate Moscow. So, so this is France goes first. So what I did was I just um, tapped my way spacebar and uh, clicker on done spacebar spacebar done done done, and was able to get to France's turn. Um, so basically, we had what, what's called what we would call a zero turn, and then I went through and edited all the PUs, the um, production uh, values, IPCs, so that they're all at the starting territory. So we go back, and I'll just I'll play around because it's kind of fun, and we're up for fun, right? So what's France going to do first turn? Um, now I can only produce in Paris. Uh, no, no, actually, I'm sorry. I can, I can produce in other places. Now I don't think we're holding that no matter what. So what do we do? Uh, strategic objective wise, uh, we could strengthen this right here, this navy. That would be quite a, quite an impediment to the Italian domination. Um, could also put some stuff into. Oh, 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 that's obvious. Normandy. Oh, yeah. I hate the fact that Germany can take out so much of the thing. So we're we're actually going to... Yeah, we're definitely... Yeah, we're definitely putting a boat there. Aircraft carrier for the French uh, with leftover $3. 
do have a fighter to put there, right? I have one fighter. Two fighters! Oh, that's sweet. And one dollar. One man. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some crazy fun stuff. Like I said, this is, again, we're having fun playing Access Knowledge. Change it up. Um, it's like uh, going on vacation with your wife, you know what I mean. Uh, it's just plain fun. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to get out of here, get out of Dodge, and we're going to draw back. Um, I'm going to actually declare war on Japan. I don't know if that has any effect, so, so I'm not going to do that. I think it has an effect. So this is going here. Oh, we could attack. I forgot about that. We could actually attack. Wouldn't that be funny? Um, we are so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can decimate northern Italy. Um, darn, we could put a per pretty good show up for western Germany. Uh, three, six. 10, 12, 15, 16. Um, I guess this is the obvious one right here. Uh, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 versus, yeah, this is the obvious one right here. So we're going on Holland. Um, Belgium. And going to take those out. Help our um, yeah. Let's be aggressive. What else we got going on? We're gonna skip. Oh, can we do any attacking? We could actually take out these guys first. Boy, lots of possibilities, huh? Oh, we could run a block. Could run a non-com block right here. That cruiser. Ah, it's like a kid in the candy shop. Dang, dude. Okay, do I like that? You know what? I'm I'm gonna hold off on that actually. You know what I'm thinking is if I can keep these troops alive. Um, this is probably gonna be pretty good as far as casualties go and of course you're taking out those tanks but if we back ourselves up to normandy bordeaux um or oh oh no, even better southern france that means only the mechs can reach this area now that's interesting and if we could take this area a bomber oh take the bomber out This was going to be a 7, 8, 9, 10. This is going to be a 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. Let's put the hurting on the minor power. Now, if I go back here, back myself up in the southern frame, What am I looking at? I'm looking at only the max. He marches his men forward. Takes them longer. I'm looking at 8, 11, 12. So the 13th guy. One, two, three. Hmm. All right, let's keep this simple for right now. Kid in the candy shop. Let's... Uh, He'd be a little scramble for that one. Let's do real simple. I wanna I wanna strengthen the Atlantic. Let's make it so he can't take out the British Navy. I'm going to do that in non-com so he can't scramble. I don't think he, he can't scramble because I'm not doing an amphib. 
um, but I'm just going to keep it simple. This is mostly amphibia, um, non combats. Let's get these boys moving. I'm doing some crazy stuff these days, experimenting with boats. In one of my games with um, Pro Axis. Mm. All right, that might be it. So what do we got? So what kind of difference are we talking? So if you do the bid, uh, a lot of times, if you do the bid, all of this material is dead and dead fast. Now it does eliminate quite a bit, but uh, plus, you're getting 19, I think it was. Uh, so that's 19 more dollars. So it's a bit of 19, basically, is what you're doing. But as far as units kept, we're talking um, quite a significant amount of units. That uh, So we're probably talking a bit of, you know, if you talk uh, gain loss as far as the Germans lost to this campaign, you're talking a significant amount, and the shipping here, that I believe, is going to escape. Uh, you're talking, uh, cool. it's a different game. It's uh, so if this was, uh, I think it was May, 1940 was the invasion of France, lasted six weeks. Uh, I think it was May. So this would be April, and so if it was April, then it'd be May. So this is turning back the time clock. So you're playing against your son, who's 10, and you want to give him a, a little bit of a head start, start, let him have France, and let France not do what they did in real life, but change history. So we'll do a non-com, move into our non-combat, and I didn't do any combat. You could make that a rule. France is not allowed to do any combat. That would be something. Uh, and all of a sudden, you've got some options that are just... Oops, up, 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 keep moving, keep moving, because I forgot that I wanted to block all the Navy from coming out. Oh, yeah. Um, and the move phase. And what do we have there? Ah, oh, is that beautiful? <gasps> Guys, it's beautiful. Love it. So there you go. Uh, France goes first. And now, all of a sudden, you know, Germany's got a totally different... Uh, I don't think you're thinking about uh, fake and sea line at this point in time. You are just trying to press home um, the fact that you got you got to put down that France, French uh, uh, beast quickly, as quickly as possible. So I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to declare, no, I'm not going to declare... Or on anybody else. Uh, I'm going to do done, and let's just uh, um, let's just try this. So this goes to here, and then can we press through? Oh, can't because there's a factory. So these tanks are out of reach. So pressing the here. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to expect a. There could be a strengthening of this, right? Um, could be air units all coming into here. Maybe, probably not. Um, so let's just take the capital like we would. Grab that 19 bucks and put every mech we can in there, just like normal. Okay. And this time, because we can't do a lot of the jibber-jabber, 110 and uh, 111. Uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna. We're gonna use. Let's see what we can do. So these can come in. These could come in, and then we're gonna take our air force and just pound.
think these guys are ineligible. And we just, we just, I think we just got to put everything in there. That's the Germans. One, two, three, four. Uh, we're going to end up with the same result, uh, but look at all that Navy. Oh, my goodness. So we have some targets of opportunity that weren't there before. Uh, that's a cruiser versus a cruiser. I'm going to send the sub in with the cruiser. I want to take that out if I can. He's got a two-plane scramble on this, so let's uh, ambush these French um, that are trying to get in there. And let's take these out. This is top of my head kind of stuff. Um, gut reaction. This is probably too weak. Let's take three in there. Finish that off quickly, hopefully. Three, one. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think this is making it down to southern France. So let's... um. Let's send this on this uh, French cruiser. All right. Um, we can do some of the traditional stuff. All right, let's let's try something like that. So we had a French turn where there was no combat. And let's go down to southern France, see what happens. All right, Germany got one casualty, air loss. Okay. Boom, nine casualties. All right, oh, Germans, six. And then we're deep into the tanks. Oof, rough. Okay, so... That's going to have to be a retreat. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. No, I'm going to press in. Okay, we took them all out, and they took two perfects. Uh, okay, so therefore, okay. So we'll go to France now. And boom, they're done. All right, and Yugoslavia. Boom, one round. They're all dead. Forget it. Oopsie daisy. Uh, remain. And he's dead. And. Yes, I will take the sub. All right, two subs. Uh, okay, so. And wow, so that ended up pretty well. So battle, uh, he survives off uh, New Brunswick. I was able to ambush the um, French. I should have put him here yeah, off of Gibraltar. Would have been a better plan. And he lost one sub. Does leave his subs vulnerable for attack. Exposed them kind of things. He did take France. He did take Southern France. Um, actually, in this in this version, you have a lot more though the mechs and the tanks were destroyed. All right, you got your scramble. No, no scramble there. Okay, I'll send one of those down to uh, scramble. And of course, this is when the helicopters come overhead. Uh, okay, we'll move in here. And we'll move down here. And I don't know, gather together here. For the bowling ball.
So that's what uh, Germany looks like. Um, this is what Germany looks like. Uh, after France goes first. This is the uh, Atlantic, so robust Navy, uh, no chance for a sea lion, which is historical. Um, Donuts never got close. And, and uh, the MAD, you know, suffered, French suffered quite a few losses, even though they were able to build a carrier and to play uh, they were able to save their plans so the big difference is actually in the Atlantic uh, and of course in the, in the German casualties that's fun so give that a try boys and girls and uh, tell me what you think would you try this with someone that you were you know you're regularly beating or had never played Axis Nines would you give this a try France goes first Crockett 36 time machine over and out